Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defence, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This morning's Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Tim Murphy, who died recently. And of course we also remember, especially, Christine in our prayers as we celebrate this Mass. We've also been asked to pray for Patrick O'Sullivan, who is sick in Ireland. We pray for Sheila's friend, who died recently, and for all her family. I think it's only right, since we celebrate this Mass in Uxbridge, to pray for our Member of Parliament, the Prime Minister, who is also ill in hospital at this time. And on a personal note, today would have been my mother's 88th birthday, so I certainly remember her in my prayers at Mass this morning. As we come to Holy or Fig Monday, we place ourselves in the presence of the Lord and we ask forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. is a reading from the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen one, in whom my soul delights. I have endowed him with my spirit, that he may bring true justice to the nations. He does not cry out, or shout aloud, or make his voice heard in the streets. He does not break the crushed reed, nor quench the wavering flame. Faithfully, he brings true justice. He will neither waver nor be crushed until true, true justice is established on earth. For the islands are awaiting his law. Thus says God the Lord. He who created the heavens and spread them out, who gave shape to the earth and what comes from it, who gave breath to its people and life to the creatures that move in it. I, the Lord, have called you to serve the cause of right. I have taken you by the hand and formed you. I have appointed you as covenant of the people and light of the nations to open the eyes of the blind, to free captives from prison and those who live in darkness from the dungeon. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The response is... The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. When evildoers draw near to devour my flesh, it is they, my enemies and foes, who stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my help. Though an army encamp against me, 
my heart would not fear. Though war break out against me, even then would I trust. The Lord is my light and my help. I am sure I see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him. Hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Please stand for the Gospel acclamation. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. Hail to you, our King. You alone have had compassion on our sins. Praise and honour to you, Lord Jesus. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus went to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom he had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there. Martha waited on them, and Lazarus was among those at table. Mary brought in a pound of very costly ointment, pure nard, and with it anointed the feet of Jesus wiping them with her hair. The house was full of the scent of the ointment. Then Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the man who was to betray him, said, Why wasn't this ointment sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? Not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He was in charge of the common fund and used to help himself to the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. She had to keep this scent for the day of my burial. You have the poor with you always. You will not always have me. Meanwhile, a large number of Jews heard that he was there and came not only on account of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. Then the chief priests decided to kill Lazarus as well since it was on his account that many of the Jews were leaving them and believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise, as we have been. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a Jew tree, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal blood which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph of Spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You 
you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I passionately desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my soul, so that I may unite myself wholly to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear towards me on the day when I call, speedily answer me. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. We have 32 people watching, which is oh, wonderful. It's lovely to see you all. So thanks for joining us. Um, do leave your comments, as always. Um, and also thanks for everything yesterday. It was wonderful to see so many people uh, coming to the church as part of their exercise, of course, to pick up a palm and a newsletter and anything else they wanted. So the, and the, the, the palms are still out there again today. So if you missed them, then don't worry, if you are out for a walk and it's your walk you're allowed out for, pass by, there will be a palm there for you. They're outside the presbytery door. And for anybody who is not able to come out, so you're self-isolating, we are keeping a big basket of palms here for when we can all get back together. Now, everybody out there with their jars. Do you want to get the jars, Father Nicholas? And the bits of paper as well. Uh, yeah, we can have the bits of paper as well and a pen for yourself. Right, today, everybody, let me take the lid off. Here's our jar of blessings. Now, as you know, Holy Week is all about journeying with Jesus in real time 
through what he would have done 2,000 years ago. So yesterday, if you think, think back, we have to think back to yesterday, it was Palm Sunday and Jesus arrived into Jerusalem and he was greeted as a king. That's why they threw all the palms down. That's where our palms come from. So he is 100% human as well as 100% God and humans get hungry. So he needed food. So today is called Big Monday because it is the day he was going through Jerusalem and he wanted to eat. He saw a fig tree, but it had no fruit on it. It had leaves, but no fruit. It couldn't feed him. So he cursed it. For those grown-ups out there that want to look this one up, it is in Matthew, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21. And today is the day that he cursed the fig tree. So today we call it Fig Monday in the world of the church. So for our blessings today, while we're counting our blessings, and we do need to count our blessings at the moment, don't we, more than ever before, I want you to think about what is your favourite tree, plant or flower? Your favourite tree, plant or flower? I mean, it could be a fig tree, that's okay. So, Father Nicholas, put your favourite one down. Okay. Okay? You can do mine too, if you like. I don't know what your favourite... I shall tell you. I shall tell you. So, there's mine. Okay. Pop it in. What is yours? Are we allowed to know? I've got an oak tree down. I like oak trees. Oh, an oak tree. Do you know, I I think I know why he likes an oak tree. Do you tell him? Tell him. Why is that? Well, I think it's Charles II. Is it Charles Charles II? He hid in an oak tree tree after the Battle of Worcester to hide from the... uh, (laughs) I I knew it would be something historical. (laughs) Right, mine is a cherry tree. Cherry tree. I love cherry blossom. And we saw some lovely cherry blossom in uh, Cherry Lane Cemetery the other day. Oh, we did, actually. I think that's where it gets its name, actually. It's a cherry blossom. The road I lived in when I was growing up, where my mum and my brother still live, over in Feltham, uh, was lined with cherry trees. So I used to love walking to school along all these cherry trees. So that's a lovely memory for me. So I count my blessings. So everybody, and if you want to share what your favourite tree, plant or flower is, let us know. It'd be lovely to hear. So put the lid back on ready for tomorrow. Well, now tomorrow, of course, we have no mass. No Um, mass tomorrow. Because obviously Thursday is quite a busy day. We're taking our time off tomorrow. So there's no mass tomorrow, but it doesn't mean we don't do our jar of blessings so what's the theme for tomorrow well we're not going to tell you today we're okay. going to tell you on wednesday right. okay so we'll do two on wednesday so i want i want you to concentrate on today it's actually temple tuesday tomorrow so but and you could look that up if you want but we'll do two on wednesday so that's fine the color of our door has changed today it's now got giant purple bows on there and they'll remain for a few days now probably until thursday when it'll go a very different colour again. But you can find out more about that as the week goes on. So let's journey with Jesus through Holy Week this week. And we're doing it all from the pleasure of our own homes. So And remember what we said yesterday, you know, if we do have a bit of extra time at home, why not read one of the Gospels about the Passion of Christ? Matthew, Mark, Luke or John, they all have the account of the Passion. Why not perhaps read some spiritual book? Might even be something on, online that we find bit of extra time for prayer, reflection, and also helping others. So let's really make this week holy, despite being confined largely to our homes. And don't forget, we've got the Stations of the Cross we put on the other day. You could re-watch those. You as could many journey. times as you want. Yeah, journey with Jesus through his actual last 24 hours, as if we were on Good Friday already. So it's Fig Monday. Don't forget, Fig Monday. You can go and look that up if you like. Find out a little bit more about the human Jesus that was involved in Holy Week as well. Well, I think that's probably I think it is. I think we're getting lots of requests now for prayers, which is wonderful, and keep those coming, because certainly people are starting to get sicker. We're hearing of a lot of nurses that are getting very ill. We had those the awful death of those five London bus drivers over the weekend, and their colleagues who are becoming ill. So there is a massive amount you could be doing at home to pray, pray for people. So actually, any people you want us to pray for just do it in a message send us a message and we can put them on slips of paper on the altar um, in this holy week 
So we won't, we, we're not forgetting you even though you're not here and I, I hope you're not forgetting us. Thank you for all the food bank donations and do keep those coming whenever you're passing. We are, we are making up bags and taking them out in ones to different people out there so that's very useful and you've been very generous so thank you. Thank you and also some people have put their envelopes through the door. Um, oh yes thank you. Over the last few Sundays that's really much very much appreciated. Much so thank appreciated you. but I think that's everything for now it's supposed to brighten up later people so I think that's good it won't be as grey as this all day so we count our blessings this holy week and join us again on Wednesday morning for mass at 9.30. But the WhatsApp group will still be going. And if you want to join that, you need to let me have your telephone number. So do do and send that along. Don't forget to pray at midday today. And the prayer intention, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, the prayer intention today is for all med med uh, medical health care professionals. Medical, oh my goodness, and don't they need our prayer right now? So we don't just clap for them, we yeah. also pray for them. We certainly do. Okay. okay. Well, so. <laughs> I think it's goodbye. <laughs> it's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from him. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.